Okay, folks, before I start the video, I just want to talk a little bit about what we've got to do to finish this thing up to make it, you know, good and straightable. One thing, of course, is uh, line the front end up. I checked it with a tape measure, and it is a quarter inch towed out. And, you know, it needs to be about an eighth inch towed in, so we're going to do something with that. That'll make it walk. In other words, it'll, it'll try to pull in a particular direction, and then when the other wheel gets straight, it pulls in the other direction. So it's kind of a walking the dog situation where it wants to take you where it wants to take you. But anyway, that's our main issue. I've got a little noise in the back left brake that I'm not sure what is. I'm going to have to take it back apart. Uh, besides that, I don't, I don't see any other issues. Uh, may you know adjust readjust the brakes up and everything because I've got drum on the front and rear but it stops good and straight no problem uh, runs good no issues there uh, got some pretty good torque to be you know as small as it is but uh, I drove it a little bit and then I my son drove it you know some so he likes it pretty well so we got a little bit of interior work to finish up and then uh, just some paint and that's pretty much it on this car uh, it'll be all finished up and done so anyway just wanted to to do a, a first drive because it's, it's actually is the first time that I've had it on the road took it down the road anything like that so wanted to make sure and, and get you know the the paperwork to where I could legally do that so anyway that's where we're at and uh, enjoy the video appreciate everybody watching
was easy though. You just cruising. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh no problem at all. Yeah, brakes were real good. I like it. Okay, folks, I was in there editing. I wasn't going to do any more on the video on this car, and then I decided, well, I'm going to uh, put some pictures on of, you know, what it looked like when I started, and go ahead and make a full video of, uh, of, of basically it, because I'm not going to do much more on it, you know, until I'll do some more video maybe after I paint it. But anyway, I just wanted to let everyone know the, the whole story on this car. Most of you watched all the videos on it. And they seen the car that I bought, the gray car, with the, uh, the goofy looking roof and stuff. I'll show you a picture of the ad right here. Okay, I ended up giving a thousand dollars for that car. And I gave a thousand for it because, now that was the most expensive thing I bought for this entire car. But I bought it because I wanted to, you know, parts of the frame and front end and rear end. And I wanted them rear quarters. And that's basically all I used of the car. Uh, I did some major changes on the frame, but I did use the rear end, the front end, the front axle, the suspension. Uh, and I ended up boxing the frame in, and then I used, like I said, the rear quarters. But $1,000 to me was fair because buying a set of rear quarters is about $900 a piece, $800 a piece. And they're just hard to find. So... That was one of the reasons I bought it. Well, if you remember right, or if you've seen the picture there, there was a roof welded on this quarter that was a 280Z Nissan roof. And uh, I was worried when I got that car because I was doing some towing that uh, the employee that was working for me at the time, my helper, was, uh, I had marked it where I wanted him to cut it off because I was worried about these quarters. And if you've seen the big spot that was missing in the quarters, uh, there was a miscommunication. And the whole entire top of this quarter got cut off and the roof got left on it. And somehow he went under and cut these this section out in little pieces so we couldn't put it back together and uh, it was like a little tiny puzzle so when I seen it I mean it really didn't make me mad it just uh, it about made me sick to my stomach because I just about quit on this car completely I mean it was one of them situations where I seen it and it just I knew how much work it was going to be to try to fix the quarters 
because if you remember the quarters was cut out here also so I had to put all this in and then they got cut out here and I had to put all this in I went all the way up so you know I, I used a set of uh, 59 I think it was 59 Dodge fenders for this top section and for this opening here but uh but people ha don't have any clue how close I came to just calling this project off and because of them them openings there that wasn't supposed to be there and uh, I had black magic marker and I had marks and I put arrows to where to cut and I was really worried about it and I think that was a lot of the problem was I was too worried about it uh, I think I tried to explain it about ten times and then I stopped back by while I was out towing I had to come, you know, drive by anyway with a car on, I, so I stopped again to make sure that it was going to be cut where I wanted it cut because of, I don't know why I was so worried about it, but it turned out I guess I was supposed to be. But uh, but that's the reason that them holes are in the top of these fenders in these pictures coming up, and that's the reason this car almost didn't get finished. But uh, but it's done now, and you know it's all welded together. So you know this is all steel. Even though, you know, we've had to use Bondo on the seams and, well, we use fiberglass over the welds. And, I mean, we have to use some fiberglass and stuff to get all the body lines right. But it's still, uh, it's still all steel.